and, and this sounds terrible, but I'm gonna say it anyways. Um, it's almost like the guy, you, you know the uncle that gets out of high school and he just talk, like those people who still just talk about the sports they played in high school? Yeah, like that's it, exactly where you're going, yeah. Isn't that kind of what veterans sound like? Yeah. And it's like, well, why don't you figure out what, what you're gonna do next instead of just living your whole life talking about what you did? Hey, it's Dakota on the Your Human Podcast. Hey, good afternoon, Dakota. How are you doing? Good, good, how are you? Good. Uh, my name's Anthony from New York. I did four years in the Marine Corps, uh, 09 to 13. Hell yeah. I have a lot of respect, have a lot of respect for you. Um, read your book, follow you on uh, social media. Cool, Here's man. My question for you. Yeah, yeah, what's up? How, how, so I've been out for a while now, about 10 years, uh, went through a divorce and all that. How do you kind of find your way, find, like, how do you find purpose? Uh, in your life once you got out and I know you've dealt with some personal issues yeah. as well um, I was just kind of wondering like how do you find your purpose how do you find that light at the end of the tunnel where you don't feel you don't feel like groundhog day day after day um, once you got out yeah that's such a great question you know you know for me like um, I really just had to, to dig in internally and look in the mirror and say what makes me happy what do I like doing what what, what, what was I put on earth to do? Like, what is it that I'm good at? Right. And then start building off of that. You know, like, you know, when, if you dissect your, your time in the core, um, you know, like for me, let me just give you my example. You know, I was like, well, I, I like being a sniper. And then when I think about it and I challenged that thought, it was like, well, I mean, small percentage of my time was even shooting or fighting. And then I challenged it even more. And, and what I came up with was is I just wanted to make the world a better place that I was part of. And so then I just replicate that whenever I get out. Does that make sense? Totally. Makes perfect sense. Yes, sir. Like, like you got to think about like, you know, like, who you are is your core. Being a Marine was just a subtitle to who you are. Being a son, being a father, being a husband, those are just those are just the results of your actions of who you are. So what do you, you know, what what fulfills you? What where where do you see where do you add value to the world? And to people. And once you once you really dial that in, dude, that's what that's what gets it right. Like, like what about being a husband? Did you and like what was good for you in that? Like why why like because if you don't value a title, then you don't care if you lose it. Oh, well, exactly. That, that that makes yeah. So, That's the nail on the head right there. So what did you value being a Marine, right? Like, what did you value? And like, once you start identifying the common denominators of why, you know, okay, what, you know, after getting out, okay, getting out, what do you, what do you miss? Right? Like, like, what is it about not being in that makes you miss it? And, you know, once you really identify that, right? Like, then you're like, then you can go and, and find that. What do you think? That makes, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Yeah, man. Here's what, here's what I tell you is what, what, what I think keeps veterans in this, like, like it's almost, and, and this sounds terrible, but I'm going to say it anyways. Um, it's almost like the guy, you, you know, the uncle that gets out of high school and he just talk like those people who still just talk about the sports they played in high school. Yes. Like exactly where you're going. Yeah. Isn't that kind of what veterans sound like? Yes. And it's like, well, why don't you figure out what what you're gonna do next instead of just living your whole life talking about what you did? Yeah, living in the past. Yeah, right. And so it's like, man, I was a Marine. I loved being a Marine. You know, and 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 I'll tell you the the it this 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 phrase is almost a phrase that's as as um 
as wrong. So you remember that t-shirt phrase that said like, you know, losing is not an option. Yeah, that's that was wrote by somebody who uh, who never even got in the game because I mean losing's one hundred percent right, um, or failure's not an option. I mean, you everybody fails, um, but also this 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 thing that that was put into our minds, one like once a marine, always a marine was just a recruiting title. You know, if you get out and you become a civilian and you still try to be a Marine, how does that work out? Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, dude, I love being exactly. a Marine. I love being a Marine. But I can't imagine going through my entire life in four years of my life are what identified the next 60 that I hope to live. Oh, you're exactly right. And I, I've always, I've never been that person like, oh, I'm about like, never been anything like that. I just, um, I don't know. It's just like you lose, I'm sure you hear it a lot, but you, you lose like that, that brotherhood, that, that feeling of belonging. And then you kind of get out and it's just like, you're in this vast ocean kind of by yourself trying to navigate it. So, Man, but you're you know, not, kind of weird. but you're not bro. Cause guess what? Like you live in a community, right? Yep. I mean, what, what what do you what do you do for work? Uh, I drive truck. Hell yeah! So so you're out there driving trucks, right? Like you're you're literally one of the. I mean, you're the veins. Like you're you're the sales of the 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 backbone of of America. Like people don't get to like you're that important to America. Driving trucks, right? You 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 need to, you need to find a way to to get get some good people around you. Do you feel like you're on an island? Oh, you're right. Do you do you feel like you're on an island? Um, not a, a little bit. I mean, I, I'm home every night with my job. Yeah. Um, but just kind of like you know, live in an apartment, live away from family a couple hours in both directions. Yeah. You no, know, I just I try to go to the gym. Try to. It's just I don't know. Maybe it's just that. It's just like. Tough to explain. I I know it's you're in a funk, bro. Belonging twenty four seven. You're in a funk. Yeah, I'll definitely. You're in a funk. We gotta get you out of the funk. Let me ask you this: Do you like driving a truck? I do enjoy it. You enjoy it. Yep. Okay, so that's good. Do you like your gym? Do I like my gym? Yeah, it's nice. Do you, but do you, I mean, but what about the people? Like, are you got people around you? You know what I mean? Like, man, we need people. I think that's the biggest thing. I think it's just not having the people around. Hell yeah, bro. That's it. That's it. I mean, you seem like a good fucking dude. Do you think you're a good guy? I believe I am. I well, others feel that way. Well, I mean, would you hang out with you? Oh, for sure. Well, fuck, man. Go find people who want to fucking hang out with you. Go go <laughs> join a... Do you like to run? Uh, I, I like it, but I'm no good at it. Well, hey, you, so let me tell you what I do is I find the shit I don't like and I'm not good at, and I force myself to do it. I hate running, and I'm going to run a 100-mile race uh, December 2nd and 3rd. Oh, shit. Yeah, so go go do something you don't like, something. Be the new guy. And, and dude, go find people. People love to teach other people. People love to be needed. Like, let me tell you the one thing that everybody has in common. Everybody wants to be needed. So if you can find something to where you can go find people who can teach you something, bro, you're automatically in. Hell, hell yeah, bro. Well, listen, you're the fucking man. You there? Cool. Well, you're the man. I appreciate you, brother. I hope you have a good day. Thank you, Dakota. I appreciate your time. Thank you, brother. See ya.